वेलकम स्टूडेंट इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी हैव टू सी एम्पियर्स लॉ बिफोर दैट वी हैव लर्न मेनी लॉज इन इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स एज वेल एज इन मैग्नेटिज्म देर आर कुलम्स लॉ बायोसॉट लॉ गॉज लॉ वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिट्वीन देम लेट एस सी दिस इन इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स there is one law called as coulomb law okay what is the use of this coulomb's law coulomb's law is used to find out the electric field or electric intensity at any point okay then this is the primary method or basic method to find out the electric field and again there is one law in electrostatics which is called as a gauge law what is the use of gauge law gauge law is the advanced method to find out the electric field okay if the object is cylinder if the object is sphere then you can use the gauge law okay therefore in electrostatic we use the coulomb's law as well as the gauge law to find out the electric field this is the basic method and this is the advanced method to find out the electric field now in magnetism in magnetism there are the two laws which are that first is biot-sauert law first is biot sauert law already you are familiar with, with this biot sauert law in this chapter magnetic fields due to electric current we have learned this biot sauert law okay what is the use of biot sauert law biot sauert law is used to find out the magnetic field or magnetic induction at any point means this is the basic method to find out the magnetic field b and what is then ampere's law ampere's law is used to find out the magnetic field at any point okay but it is the advanced method if there is a symmetrical distribution of current then you can use the ampere circuital law or which is also called as a ampere's law it is lakshat therefore in magnetism we can use the biot-sauert law as well as the ampere's law okay but but this is the advanced method to find out the magnetic field if there is a symmetry okay if there is a symmetry then you can use the ampere's law okay let us see this what is the ampere's law what is its statement line integral of magnetic field line integral of magnetic field around a closed loop is equal to the mu zero times the current flowing through that path this is the mathematical formula for ampere's law this is the line integral of b d l is equal to the mu zero i this upon gauge law made eds okay that when you upon kai find out karot hoto tar magnet uh, sorry electric field find out karot hoto similarly here is a line integral of the b d l is equal to the mu zero i okay let us see this ampere and loop and from this ampere and loop you can easily understand the ampere's law okay let us see two conductor carrying current i1 and i2 suppose this is the i1 and this is the i2 we consider the two conductor 
two wires which carries the current I1 and I2. Okay, as the current is flowing through the conductor, around this there is a magnetic field. Suppose we have to find out the magnetic field at point P. Okay, then you can draw the Amperean loop. This is important. Okay, then you can draw this Amperean loop. Ki this is in the form of a length loop. Ahe. Ek dhaga jas apun gajo na. Tasa. It is not the surface area. Okay, it is the in the form of a length mana kiwa in the form of a loop. Okay, then we consider the its length. Suppose this is the length DL because this loop is made up of a number of a elements whose length is DL. Okay, this is DL, this is DL. You can find out the magnetic field here. Also, you can find out the magnetic field here also. Okay, therefore, in this topic, we have to define what do you mean by the ampere circuit law. Okay, therefore, we consider the two conductor carries current I1 and I2. Therefore, we have to find out the magnetic field at point P. You can take anywhere point P, then you can direct the direction of the loop. Suppose it is the clockwise direction, okay? Loop directions upon Tharuya. Let us decide the directions of a loop. It is the clockwise. Okay, then what is the direction or what is the value of I1 and I2? Suppose this is the loop. Okay, this is the loop. How loop upon consider kila? That loop is called as a Amperean loop. This loop is Amperean loop. Okay, and suppose this is the Amperean loop and it carries the current I. You know that the magnetic field Chizar direction supply la dechi asil, we have to use the right hand rule. Okay. Then this is the loop which touch directions upon dakulili ahe. Then curl the fingers around this loop. Then see this. Yapadati. Okay. Then thumb. Thumb along gives the direction of a current. Kiji inward direction sasnare, therefore we get here I1 is equal to the positive and I2 kiji outward lahe, which is negative. Okay, let us see this. I1 is inward and I2 is the outward. Okay, the inward la direction sasse, it is always positive, the outward la sel. तिका असणार आहे किंवा ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शनला थंबच्या ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शनला जी काही असणार आहे i1 ची व्हॅल्यू ती काय असणार आहे नेगेटिव्ह असणार आहे यू कॅन कन्सिडर द अगेन द अनदर कंडक्टर व्हिच कॅरीज द करंट i3 ओके मग i3 मुळे सुद्धा p या पॉइंटला वर काय असणार आहे टोटल मॅग्नेटिक फील्ड असणार आहे ओके ऍज देयर इज अ पॉइंट p दिस इज द एलिमेंट dl स्मॉल एलिमेंट dl कंसीडर केलाय देयरफॉर its directions, magnetic field directions upon kai consider ke liye, B consider ke liye hai, okay? Therefore, this is the B. It is along the DL, okay? Then what is the ampere circuital law? See this, line integral of the BDL is equal to the mu zero I. Therefore, this line integral is equal to the B vector dot DL vector is equal to the B DL cos of theta, okay, is equal to the mu zero, I here, it's a three conductor I's, I1, I2 and I3 and we consider this ampere and loop, this is the procedure to find out the magnetic field using the ampere's law, therefore here is mu zero, it is inward directions, therefore I1 is positive, okay, therefore I1, I2 is negative, minus I2. What about I3? I3 is again negative, I3 is again negative. If there is a, again one conductor which carries the current, I4, 
then it is plus I4. Okay, and this is the Ampere law. Okay, you can apply the Ampere law in this way. This law is valid everywhere, but it is useful in three conditions. Which are that three conditions? Let us see this first. First, if B is tangential to DL vector, if B is tangential to the DL vector, means B and DL are in the same directions, okay? Then what is the value of line integral of the BDL? Line integral of the BDL is equal to the BDL cos of theta. Here theta is 0, cos 0 is 1. Therefore, here B into DL. Therefore, it becomes B is constant. Take it outside integration of DL. Therefore, it is B into L. If B is tangential to the D DL or non-zero or constant, then we get the value of B into L, okay? BDL, integration of BDL is equal to the B into L. Second point is, if B is normal, normal to DL, okay, see this. Suppose we consider here, this is the DL, okay, and we have to, B vector is normal, therefore this is the normal, this is the normal and this is the B vector, means angle between B and DL is 90 degree, okay, and if this is the 90 degree, then cos 90 is 0, therefore BDL is equal to the 0, therefore we get here BL is equal to the zero and third case is b vanishes b vanishes then b is equal to the zero then bdl is equal to the line integral of bdl is equal to the zero therefore these are the main three conditions where you can apply the ampere circuital law Therefore, Ampere circuital law is useful in these three cases, okay? These are the important cases. If B is tangential to the DL, okay? If B is normal to the DL, and third is the B vanishes. As the B vanishes, therefore, B is equal to the zero, and line integral of the BDL is equal to the zero, okay? Nakshatala Asil, okay? Understood what I am saying? This is the important Ampere's law. Application of Ampere's law. This upon biotosaurus law to applications pile. Similarly, we have to see the applications of Ampere's law. First application is magnetic field due to current carrying straight long wire. Okay. कि बाउट बाउट साउट लॉच साइयां ने सुधा अपन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ही काय के लिए लिया है फाइंड आउट के लिए लिया है बट वे हैव टू यूज द एम्पीयर्स लॉ ओके अतः यूजिंग दिस एम्पीयर्स लॉ लेट अस सी दिस इज द कंडक्टर ओके व्हिच कैरीज़ द करंट आय एस दिस इज द कंडक्टर कैरीज़ द करंट आय अराउंड इस देर इस सम then we draw the loop in the form of a circle, okay? This is the loop in the form of a circle. Therefore, this is called as a Ampereian loop, okay? This is the Ampereian loop. It is called as a point P, okay? This is the small element called as a DL, whose length is DL, and this is the direction of B vector. Okay, therefore, we have to find out the magnetic induction at point P. Then use the Ampere circuital law. Okay, then according to Ampere circuital law,
What is the ampere circuital law? Say this. Line integral of B D L is equal to the mu zero times the I. Okay. Therefore, line integral of B D L cos theta is equal to the mu zero times the I. Okay. Therefore, here cos theta is theta same directions. Okay. D L and B are in the same directions. Therefore, theta is zero and cos zero is one. Therefore, here B D L is equal to the mu zero. Sorry, here no, it's not vector. Huh. Is equal to the mu zero I. Okay. Therefore, B is constant. Take it outside line integral of the D L. Is equal to the mu zero i. Therefore, b integration of d l is l means length of the loop. Okay. Therefore, it is l which is equal to the mu zero i. Therefore, b what is l? L is the two pi r circumference of a circle means two pi r. If this distance is the r, therefore it becomes the two pi r is equal to the mu zero i therefore b is equal to the mu zero i upon 2 pi r this is the value of magnetic field at point p using the ampere's law okay the applications which are that to obtain an expressions for the magnetic field due to the straight long वायर कैरिंग करंट आय ओके बायोट्स आउट लॉनी सुधा अपन हिच वैल्यू फाइंड आउट के लिए होती आता एम्पियर्स लॉनी सुधा सेम वैल्यू फाइंड आउट के लिए होती ओके